gratitude is wealth, and the complaint is poverty. Some people are always grumbling, because roses have thorns. I am thankful that, thorns have roses. It is not that, happy people are grateful, it is that, only grateful people become truly happy. God gave you a gift of 86,400 seconds today. Have you used one, to say, thank you? The hardest arithmetic to master is that, which enables us, to count our blessings. Gratitude can transform common days, into thanksgivings. Before you complain today, be grateful you have breath, to complain with. Acknowledging the good that, you already have in your life, is the foundation for all abundance. Kindness is the language which the deaf can hear, and the blind can see. Every day of my life, I get something to be thankful for, and that's a powerful lesson. If a man is not grateful for what he has, he is probably not grateful for what he will have. Worries end, when gratitude begins. The more aware you are of the good things in your life, the more good things will continue to manifest. All of our discontent for what we lack, comes from our lack of gratitude, for what we have. God has two dwellings, one in heaven, the other in a meek, and thankful heart. Feeling gratitude, and not expressing it, is like wrapping a present, and not giving it. A thankful heart is not only the greatest virtue, but the parent of all the other virtues. When it comes to life, the critical thing is whether you take things for granted, or take them with gratitude. There is no greater difference, between men than between grateful, and ungrateful people. He, who thanks, but with the lips. Thanks, but in part. The full, the true, thanksgiving, comes from the heart. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that, the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them.
When you rise in the morning, give thanks for the light, for your life, for your strength. Thanks for watching the video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel.